Hi YouTubers, it's your girl, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, and today I'm just coming to talk a little bit about my hair and shrinkage. Um, I have done a video on my hair type before, but um, it was a little quick, um, and then today it's going to be quick too, but I kind of wanted to show you in real time my hair and my shrinkage, because a lot of people have asked when they've seen my hair in different styles, your hair looks long, really long sometimes, and sometimes it looks really short, and sometimes I just don't know. Well, that's the joys of being natural. When you're natural, you have shrinkage. And that's just something that's, um, well, when you're naturally curly, period, you have shrinkage. That's whether you're white, black, Asian, whatever. Um, with curly hair, you're going to have shrinkage. So, um... I think for this video, all I'm going to do is take my hair down for you and kind of explain my hair texture and my shrinkage. So my hair was secured today. You all know I love using a knee high. And it was back in a puff. Um, and this is basically just the, I want to say like, seventh day results of the twist out I had from uh, my photo shoot five. Please remember to go over and vote at goingnatural.com. The link is found below in the info section. Um, all I'm doing here is taking my hair down for you. Just for you to get a little view. And I'm going to go through each section of my hair. So as you can see, my hair probably looked quite shrunken with that twist out. But you can see that my hair itself is quite long. It's called shrinkage. The thing is about my hair that I know, when I do my hair on dry hair, it looks longer. When I set my hair on wet hair, it looks a lot shorter. My, uh, my styles mainly throughout this um, competition have been set on wet hair. So that's why my hair tends to look shorter. Now this is what my sides look like. And as you can see, that's my immediate sides of my hair. And they're down to here. So that's the sides. And that's not even the real size. It's kind of coming up on the sides. As you can see, the sides of my hair, which I'm very proud of, are the same length as the rest of my hair. Um, which usually the edges break off for a lot of people. I've been able to preserve my edges through a lot of moisturizing and through minimal pulling at my edges. So that's the front. So you can see how long that is. Um, the front of my hair is more loosely textured. I say that the front of my hair is a mixture of 4A, 3C, well 3C, because 3C would be a looser curl pattern. Uh, slightly looser if you ask me but it's a looser curl pattern um, and it's also mixed in with some 4A and 4B I have 4B here in the middle the middle of my head is strictly 4B like I don't even know what kind of hair dwells in there it's like a wild beast and that's where most of my thickness and density comes from so let me show you the back which is mainly 3C the back of my hair has the most defined curls I have ever seen. Well, not that I've ever seen, but in my head, yeah. Um, but you can see the back of my hair. It's quite long as well. So, shrinkage is very, very, very misleading. My hair can look as short as I want it to look. And the only reason why I'm planting my hair like this right now is because I'm about to wash it. Um, my hair can look as short as I want it. It can look as long as it is. And then there's the middle. You guys can get a good view at the middle. My hair is so dense. I don't think people even realize how thick and dense my hair is. Like, combing my hair is a beast. There's my little edges. Um, but I love it. I wouldn't take my hair back for the world. I've always had thick hair. Even when I had perms hair. So there you have it. Um, this is how my hair looks. And it was set on wet hair before I did the twist out. And um, I showed you a few pictures of that. My hair type, because a lot of people have asked, is a 
4A mainly, 4B, and some 3C. Um, for those of you all who don't understand hair types, CurlyNikki.com has an excellent, or wait, yeah, CurlyNikki.com and the Curl Mart all have a really good hair typing system. Um, three, one and two are more looser curls or more like waves. And then when you move into three, you're seeing more of the spiral curls. And with fours, you're seeing more of the kinky hair and the smaller coils. So um, that just kind of gives you an idea of what my hair is like and what it does and the type of hair I have. Um, I also have some hair in my head that doesn't exactly curl. It's more wavy than it is curly. And you find that like here in the front and some of it actually is very wiry in the middle. And when I say wiry, it's like that hair is so like coarse and it's very like, instead of the strands being fine, it's kind of thick. It's kind of weird because that hair is very like, it does its own thing. It's not even a regular curl pattern. It's like some kind of loops and loops. But you guys probably share a lot of the same hair texture as me. Um, I've had a lot of people come on my channel and tell me that their hair looks like mine. And so this gives you an idea. Whereas when you get, I'm three years in, um, going into four years in about a month. Um, where where you'll probably be, what it'll probably look like. Um, and thickness does change things. Uh, my hair is quite thick um, and always has been. Some people don't have as much thickness, which is sometimes a blessing and a curse. But that's my hair in a nutshell. Uh, I plan to come back and do some other videos about my current hair regimen um, or regime, especially since the um especially since the seasons are changing so i'll probably be doing that really soon for you guys um i hope this was helpful uh, make sure you check out the website www.beautifulbrownbabydoll.com it has a lot of helpful hints and tips um and that's it for today guys the beautiful brown baby doll peace I have now added a questions board to my YouTube channel. So make sure that you submit your questions so that everyone may vote and that can help lead my videos to better answer the questions you want to know. Be sure to visit and also join the blogs and forums over at www.beautifulbrownbabydoll.com. There's so much to discuss there. The new layout is so amazing and easier to navigate. I think you guys will enjoy yourselves. There's a wonderful blog area and a place for you to post your comments and join as well. And on the forums, we'll have a lot to talk about, including fashion, hair, weight loss, TV shows, and everything else. The store is all new, very secure, and also easy to navigate. Find out more about yours truly with my biography, hair journey, and weight loss journey in motion. And a special thanks goes out to the team over at graphicfiasco.com. They designed a wonderful website for me, and I couldn't think of anything that fits me better. Check them out. They're a wonderful team, guys. Join my Facebook fan page at Nina Beautiful Brown Baby Doll 
Ellis Hervey. You won't be upset at all. It's a nice page. And see more of my pictures on my official Facebook, Nina Ellis Hervey. Unfortunately, I'm at friend capacity though. Follow me on Beautiful Brown Baby Doll at Twitter. And also follow my Twitter fan page, Brown Baby Doll Fans. My YouTube was designed by my girl Tiff. Hit up her page at that YouTube name. And remember to dream big or not at all. Peace.